Today we are talking all about strollers. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole and over here we talk about everything from parenting, tips, tricks, to product reviews. And if you're new here, definitely consider subscribing. Today we're doing a super fun sit down video and collaboration video with Megan Kingsford. Um, she is an amazing mama. She has three little kiddos, just like I do, and she also loves diaper bags and strollers. So we thought this was a natural fit. Um, we are collaborating to tell you all about strollers, and um, I couldn't be more excited. So be sure to check out Megan's channel and her video um, in the description box. Plus, anything I talk about today will be in the description box down below, so that way you can reference it easily. It's been a while. I don't know if I've even ever sat down and just done like a story time video with you. Be sure you have a drink. I've got mine, a snack maybe, <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I'm gonna walk you through my stroller journey. Um, I'm a mama of three. I have a six-year-old, a four-year-old, and a 19-month-old. So let's start with baby number one. Sweet Tyler. I was a first-time mom and I was so meticulous about researching and preparing for everything. My Pinterest board was full of things for baby and I was doing all the research. And where I landed was on a travel system. It made sense to me. Um, you know, if you have one kiddo, you have a couple of options. You could do a travel system or a convertible uh, car seat, right? So a travel system is a car seat and a stroller that work together as a system, right? So you're able to take the car seat out of your car, place it right on top of the stroller, and just keep on moving. Honestly, I went this route because I never, I just remembered my mom saying in my head, never wake a sleeping baby. So... Um, it gave me the option to take my sleeping child out of my car, place them on top of the stroller, and just keep on going. Now, um, there are some pros and cons, and we're going to talk about those. Because if you do a convertible car seat, that's a much larger car seat, but the idea behind that is that it lasts for a much longer time. So you're able to put your child in there as an infant, but then you can also keep them in that same car seat all the way through as they get older and older and older. A lot of them go all the way up to the max age capacity. Um, the one that I have L in right now um, actually turns into a booster seat. So anyway, <laughs> it really truly goes with them from like birth all the way through. So the main downside to a convertible car seat in my eyes is um, I'd have to wake up my child. So if your baby had been sleeping, and especially in those newborn years, guys, if you are driving around in circles trying to get them to fall asleep, and they finally do, the last thing you wanna do is like take them out and wake them up. <laughs> so in a convertible car seat, while you do save money in the long run because you can use that same seat for a lot longer, the downside to me is that I'd have to wake up my child, take them out, and then place them in a bassinet, right? Because I was a first time mama, I chose the travel system and I used the Brytax. Um, I had a B Ready and a B Agile maybe. I think that's what they were called. We just loved them. We loved that stroller, loved it so much. And one of you asked in the FAQs, um, I have my notes here, <laughs> in the FAQs, um, which is the easiest to fold? That Brytax stroller, I'll put something similar in the description box, was a dream. I could do it with one hand, it was lightweight, it was awesome. Um, so. Continuing in on my journey, as a second time mama, um, my little boy was two and a half when our second was born, and I thought, like, what am I gonna do? <laughs> am I gonna make my two and a half year old walk? I mean, that would be just be sheer craziness, right? So I opted for the Baby Jogger City Select. Guys, that stroller, and it, they still offer it today. My video here on YouTube, I'll link down below, is the most popular video on my channel because I think so many people are interested in it. But um, that stroller changed my whole stroller life. <laughs> and I know it sounds dramatic, but the benefits of that baby jogger stroller, it had 16 different configurations. The seats could hold up to 45 pounds each and it could accommodate a car seat adapter. So what did I do? I bought the car seat adapters, plugged them in. Maybe I can insert a piece of the video, but. I plugged the car seat adapters in, snapped the car seat on, and then I put on the second seat. So my two and a half year old was in the front, my car seat and my baby were in um, the back, closer to me. It was amazing. Then when Jake got a little bit older, I took him out of the car seat, mixed the car seat adapters, and attached the second seat, which then made 
the whole thing just so awesome. And I know Baby Jogger sells um, uh, a platform, so if you don't want a second seat, if your child's older, you can have a platform where they can ride on it rather than sit. Um, there's so, so many options, but that's what I ended up doing. And I liked that stroller because when I was researching double strollers, this gets into another FAQ that you guys asked um, about inline versus side by side. Um, I was at the mall one day and I saw people just struggling, like trying to get their stroller through the door. And I thought to myself, I got enough to struggle with. I'm a second time mom, I got my hands full with kids. Like I just want a stroller that's in line that can go through a doorway and not stress me out, right? Because I'm already trying to hold the door with one arm. Like it's just impossible. <laughs> so um, that's why I chose an inline stroller. It does have some downsides. Um, the baby jogger being in line, um, when my kids were facing each other, their legs would touch, which made for interesting experiences. But all in all, to me, the benefit of having them in line, it was just so much more efficient and easier to navigate around places. So that is why I went that route as compared to a side-by-side. -side. So I hope that that helps a little bit for that. So when I was a second time mom that I was introduced to the world of umbrella strollers, because as Jake got older, I didn't want to lug around a 30 pound stroller anymore. I'm like, gosh, I just need to go to the park with some friends, you know? And so when I was going on quick trips or just to the store, um, I wanted Ty to walk. He was old enough um, to be trusted. <laughs> so I would let him walk and I got a deluxe umbrella stroller. So there are so many variations. I looked at a summer infant one. I ended up with a Chico, which I also have a video on. I'll link below. Um, and I have had that stroller and I still use it, guys. I still to this day use it. Um, it is a deluxe umbrella stroller, which means it reclines. It has a canopy, which kind of stinks. It's not the best, if I'm being honest. Um, but it has a big basket underneath. And it's it's strong. The seat is cushy. Um, the legs are adjustable. So I just, I loved it. And I got it on clearance at Target for like 40 bucks. You just couldn't beat it. So I highly, highly recommend getting an umbrella stroller for quick trips. To me, they're a must have. So if you're watching this and you're putting together a baby registry, that would be something great to add. As a third time mama, here I am, three kiddos, right? Now my oldest kid is six, so he does not ride in the stroller. He doesn't. Um, and what we ended up doing when she was really small in her car seat is I used my Auslan. Auslan is no longer in business. Um, and if I had not gotten you know what, my baby jogger stroller, just a quick side note as if this video is not long enough already, but my baby jogger stroller got stolen. That's why I didn't use it later on. Um, I was devastated actually, but long story short, I got the Auslan stroller. I have a video on that also. Um, and I used the Auslan for Elle. So I had her in her car seat. I had Jake in the front seat, worked like a dream, uh, but I had the Auslan stroller, my umbrella stroller, and then I introduced something that changed my life, guys. I bought a Keen's wagon. <laughs> and so the wagon has been life-changing. Um, I filmed a video of me just kind of walking through the features, but I have not sat down yet to tell you guys why I love it so much. Just briefly, um, it has two five-point harnesses inside the wagon. It has a canopy that closes all the way. I'll tell you what, it handles exactly like a stroller. So it's not cumbersome like some wagons can be, especially the inexpensive ones. That's how I knew the price point was a little bit higher, but it was gonna be worth it for me, um, was because it, it handles like a stroller. It's amazing, it's amazing. So as a third time mama, I got the wagon, I have my umbrella stroller from way back, and um, I have the Auslan, and I honestly don't use the Auslan. I don't. Um, I typically use my umbrella stroller or the wagon if I want to carry my four-year-old in my 19-month-old um, together in one spot. So that is what that is my stroller journey. And I, I hope you, I will say somewhere in that journey, I borrowed my friend's uh, sit-to-stand. I also have a video on that. Um, and the sit-to-stand was one of the most unassuming best double strollers I could find. I mean like for a hundred dollars, <laughs> again you can watch my whole video for all the features, but like just a quick overview. You can get one stroller that can attach a car seat, hold your other kiddo, or has a bench seat and a seat in front. It, I mean I can't say enough good things about that. Is the quality going to be the same as like a 
City Select? Absolutely not, you know, but is it going to get the job done? It is. So if you're looking for a cost-effective, affordable option for a double stroller, like a sit-to-stand type of situation, the Baby Trend sit and stand, it's great. Can't say enough good things about it. So there was my stroller journey. I hope you're still here. I hope you have not fallen off yet. Um, and if you need to take a drink, you can. <laughs> but that was my journey from first, second, and third kiddo. I've learned so much along the way. So let me wrap up by catching any FAQs that I may have missed. So someone asked for the best stroller for a three-year-old and a newborn. Because your child is older, they're three, you may want to go for a less expensive option, um, in which case like a sit and stand would work. Perfect. That's really it for the FAQs because I answered most of them as I was talking. So let me just leave you with this word of wisdom. If you're a mama sitting at home at the very beginning of your journey with kiddos, say maybe you have one, um, maybe you are just pregnant looking at resources online and you found me. Um, my biggest piece of advice is to invest in a nice stroller like the City Select um, where you can use it as a single stroller, you can use it as a double stroller, you can use it to attach your baby's car seat, you can buy optional accessories to make it a sit and stand and that way you're not buying more strollers, you're just buying one and it's growing with your child. So I think that's the biggest piece of advice and also buy an umbrella stroller which is under $100. Those are my two pieces of advice for you guys. And I hope that you found this helpful. I hope that you liked the story time kind of setting. If you did, please give the video a big thumbs up, subscribe. Don't forget to go watch Megan over on her channel and drop any questions at all you have about strollers. I'm happy to share my experiences with you um, in the comments down below. I'm happy to help. And I will see all of you guys again in my next video. Bye guys.